In the terminal area, aircraft are transitioning to between the in-route environment and the airport surface. Arriving aircraft are coming together and descending, all aiming for the runway threshold. Now this convergence of aircraft poses a safety and efficiency challenge that has grown more complex as the number of aircraft flying increases. Adding new runways takes years and is very expensive, so we need to make the most of the facilities we already have. Today, the transition between en route and terminal airspace is coordinated through radio calls and computer-to-computer -computer handoffs. The sequence of arrivals established in the en route airspace may or may not be optimally spaced for the destination airport. Terminal controllers are challenged to integrate arrivals in the same airspace with departures and overflights. Low-level weather only adds to the complexity. If the arrival streams were all coming from one place, this would be easy. But since they are different aircraft types, coming from different places at different speeds and altitudes, it takes some work to build and maintain this sequence in a way that uses the runways best, while avoiding disruption to the incoming flight paths. Next-gen tools like time-based flow management will build an optimized sequence of arrivals earlier in the flight, so we know in which order the aircraft will land. The spacing established will allow the destination airport to accommodate arrivals and departures with a minimum of delays for both. TBFM will analyze and provide recommendations starting over 400 miles from the airport, letting each flight know how much they need to speed up or slow down to make the optimum sequence work. Other tools will provide a new way for controllers to better visualize the spacing between aircraft to allow them to tighten up any extra gaps between aircraft so we get the most out of the system. This is especially important when controllers are trying to keep just a big enough gap between aircraft in a stream to fit in another airplane that has not joined the approach stream yet. Along this process of merging and building up the arrival sequence, controllers must hand off aircraft from one sector to the next. Datacom becomes invaluable as a tool to enable these handoffs to take place silently via digital transmission of the handoff and new frequency at each step. Today, controllers often step aircraft down to lower altitudes and tell them to fly level at each step. This wastes fuel and increases pollution, both in terms of CO2 emissions and noise. As in in-route airspace, today's routes are designed around the old navigation aids installed many years ago. New routes based on satellite navigation and optimized for today's aircraft performance will make the approach process much more efficient. In the next-gen timeframe, equipment on board the aircraft will provide spacing guidance to pilots to help them follow leading aircraft at precise distances. This will allow aircraft to devise optimum descent profiles that allow them to glide into the airport from high altitudes. This will burn less fuel, and the accuracy of the ground tracks of these aircraft also allow very precise management of the noise profile on the ground. Several of the largest airports and their associated terminal areas around the country have been identified as Metroplex control facilities. These airports are critical to the flow of traffic throughout the entire national airspace. As you can expect, the airspace surrounding them is usually complex and crowded. Because terminal automation systems and in-route automation systems are different, finding a way to seamlessly interface them is becoming more and more important. NextGen addresses this complex challenge with new tools and methods for exchanging data, and even makes the dynamic assignment of airspace between the systems possible. NextGen capabilities are saving fuel, reducing noise, and increasing predictability, which is essential to getting the most out of our busiest airports.